Have you tried budgeting in the past, but had a problem sticking with it? Budgeting in Banktivity is different. It uses the envelope method, a time-tested approach to help you truly take control of your money. Envelope budgeting is proactive instead of reactive, which makes all the difference for hitting your financial goals. I'll walk you through setting up a basic envelope budget in Banktivity for iPhone. Banktivity for iPad is very similar as well. Before we jump into setting up your budget, you'll want to add all of your accounts, like checking, savings, and credit cards. This screen shows your spending and income by category. If you haven't been categorizing all your transactions, you may want to review and update them. Banktivity will show any uncategorized transactions for the month so that you can categorize them before building your budget. Categorizing your transactions is key for building an effective and accurate budget. Banktivity comes with a great set of default categories, but you can customize them to suit your needs and lifestyle. Let's get started with setting up your budget. The Budget Setup Assistant will ask you about two kinds of income and expenses, scheduled and unscheduled. Now we can select which accounts to include or exclude in your budget. If you have any transfers or payments to other accounts, like a car loan or mortgage, you want to exclude those here. Next, you are asked if there are any categories you want to exclude from a budget. Most of you can choose the default and just include all categories. Now it's time to tell Banktivity about the income you want included in this budget. I'll set up my bi-weekly paycheck. Be sure to choose an income category as well. Next, add each of your expenses that will be tracked. I'll add my bills first and then any other expenses. It's okay if you can't think of every one of your expenses now. You can always come back and add more later. Once all of your expense categories have been added, tap Done and you'll notice a prompt to use envelope budgeting. Now you'll see all of the cash you have on hand. This is a great thing about envelope budgeting. You'll make a plan for the money you have right now. I'll distribute the cash I have now to my most important expenses first, then to the less important expenses. Once the total distributed is equal to the total cash on hand, you are done. Be sure to distribute every penny, as you'll only do this initial distribution of your start cash once. After all of the money is distributed, tap Done with Envelopes. You'll get one last summary screen. You're done. You can now see an overview of your entire budget with the corresponding amount of money available in each envelope. This is the plan for your money. You know where you're going to spend every penny until you get paid again. But we are all human and things happen. When you overspend in one category, you can move money from another envelope to cover the deficit. This forces you to make sure you are only ever spending the money you have now. This can help you say goodbye to credit card debt. When you get paid again, the cycle continues. You'll distribute your cash to your highest priority envelopes until you have no more money in your income envelope. If you don't spend all the money in an envelope, the remaining money rolls over to the next month. If you have questions or need a little help, please visit us online. We also have free live webinars and additional resources to help you take control of your finances.